Hey guys, Tom Zang here. Today I'm making a quick short video showing you guys what exactly is the multitasking gesture. Um, you have probably have already heard about it in the uh, Apple News or what have you, reading from the Flipboard. Um, it's actually one of the rumored features or rumored permanent features that the uh, uh, I, um, iOS 5.0 is actually going to have. Um, and the rumor is also that um, the home button, uh, let's see, try to get get my camera to change the lighting and focus on the home button right here, is actually going to be no more um, comes uh, iPhone 5 and maybe iPad 3. Um, there's also another rumor that says the iPhone 5 is going to have a capacitative home button instead of like a, just a regular button it's you know so that way you know if you have uh, anything other than your finger touching it won't actually activate because as it is right now it's basically just a mechanical uh, button you anything that pushes up or uh, uh, exerts a pressure on the button will activate the ability of the button which is to load up the home screen so that poses a problem because, you know, if you put your iPad or iPhone in your um, pocket or iPad in your bag, you know, accidentally rub it against something, you know, you don't want to turn on the device and lose battery. That's why uh, there is a rumor I read today that they're actually going to implement capacitative home buttons. But I still like the idea of no home buttons at all. That way they can increase the size of the of the screen and you know more screen is always a good thing. Um, so anyways, all right, so let me go ahead and show you what multitasking touch is. So let's say you know I have flipboard open. <clears throat> and then let's say I have... Safari open. So that's one of my other videos too, by the way. You guys be sure to check that out. Um, so if I want to, you know, go back to the home screen, I can either press the home button right here, do that, or watch this. Oh well, you guys probably already seen the trick, uh, you know, just a second ago. But anyways, you use five fingers or four fingers. It works with four fingers too. So, you know, I, I find sometime if I have like a, you know, sometime if I have my capacitative pen in my hand, you know, I, I don't have to put it down. I can just hold it and then, uh, you know, use my, uh, you know, those fingers. Uh, actually, hang on. This is probably not a good application. Okay, so here, try this place. There we go. So, that was probably a bad choice to pick from because, it, you know, it scrolls around and it's hard to get a grip on an area. So, let me, let me actually switch an application and see if this one works better. So, okay, use three fingers. I pinch it and uh, so uh, or you know I can put the pen down and use five fingers and uh, I can you know swap it around too between applications um, there you go and uh, yeah so it's very nice I pinch it I go back to the home screen and I use five fingers to roll it up so I can see the taskbar here, I can see my applications and I can you know pick any one of them you know and uh, you know if I don't like it I pinch it go back to the main screen so so that's basically what multitasking gesture is and actually if you do have it activated um, in your general thing it will actually say um, multitasking gesture enabled but um, I actually um, did something with my iPad so it's not showing here but it still works so <clears throat> and uh, uh, if you haven't seen my video on how to activate it I actually have a video on it um, uh, it's in my channel go look for it well I might actually um, 
I'm gonna actually just post a link right here and so you guys can just go check it out and uh, you know it's a it's a very very useful um, and it's really cool. I mean, just think about, you know, you're somewhere and, you know, all of your friends are looking and then you're like, boom. Yeah, so it's very catchy and, you know, um, so if you have uh, iOS 4.3 or uh, later, like 4.3.1, then you can actually use this and it's very simple. Go look in my um, video on how to activate multitasking gesture. Uh, it shows you all you need is your iDevice, um, iOS 4.3, um, and um, a Mac. That's that's all you need. And uh, so, anyways, guys, uh, I figured I'd just make a quick short video demonstrating what multitasking gesture is, and you know all the buzz about it. Um, but I do expect it to be implemented and kept as a permanent feature in iOS 5.0 and all the future iDevices, um, even if they don't get rid of the home button. I think this will be a permanent feature. So anyways, guys, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Add me on Facebook. You know, uh, that gets you the latest updates from my channel. And uh, I really enjoyed making this video. I hope to see you guys next time on my channel. Thank you.